Once upon a time, all of the animals, in an effort to solve the problems of the world, got together to form a school. Now, they offered four courses, running, climbing, flying, and swimming. Now, in an effort to administer the curriculum more effectively, all of the animals were required to take all four courses. Well, as you can imagine, the duck was excellent at swimming, but he made only passing grades at flying and struggled tremendously with running. But because of his difficulties with running, the duck had to stay after class to work more on his running, and because of that, his webbed feet became badly worn. And therefore, as a result, his swimming, which had been his forte, began to suffer. Now, the rabbits began the semester at the top of the class in running, but soon had a nervous breakdown because of all the makeup work they had to do in swimming. Now, the seals and the penguins, of course, were outstanding swimmers, but their efforts at running simply became comic relief for the rest of the student body. And then there were the Wolverines. Now, they were troublemakers from the beginning. They wanted another course offered and scavenging for food, and why well, they just wreaked havoc everywhere they went. But then again, many people will tell you that wolverines are troublemakers. Just ask many of my friends who are Ohio State fans up in the Buckeye State. Well, the school began to lose its cohesiveness when the polar bears withdrew because they said they'd rather just work alone. And then the cats also left and began their own school because, well, hey, <laughs> Ain't nobody going to tell a cat what to do. Well, the point of this little tale is to say that God has given every animal certain abilities to do certain things well. And there are other things that they don't do well. Turtles can't climb, horses can't fly, and eagles can't swim. But what they do they do exceedingly well. And it's the same with you. There are certain abilities and gifts that God has given you. And sure, there are things that we don't do as well, but there's no sense in sitting around and lamenting the things that you can't do. Dolphins don't cry because they can't climb trees. They just do what they can do, and they do it well. And so maybe there are things that you don't do so well. Maybe, like me, you can't sing marvelously, or maybe you can't draw, maybe you're not a gifted teacher, or maybe you're not a leader. Maybe there's some other ability that you wish you had, but you just don't. Well, that's okay. Identify the things that you do well, and then rely on God and develop that gift to the very best of your ability. Thank you for watching and be kind.